Hello everyone. End of service. End of service activity like other activities. It's part of HRMS menu. This activity is also reading from the setting. Users, admin user, who's the one who did setting for end of service, these settings will be affecting at the time when we want to create end of service. In Hanau software, the user, the admin user, can make setting for end of service to up, can be applied for almost all Arab countries in the Middle East because there there is a lot of options in the setting if the employee terminated or, or resigned we read the period of work this one we can read also male, female uh, 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 department position and so on so there is set up also in the setup and end of service, calculating of leave while he's on work, it might be different calculated of leave when he resigned or terminated or end of service. So at the time when filling end of service form, first thing is, of course, employee name, employee number, you will fill. Then you will select, is it resigned or terminated? So the employee might ask, here in these videos, this is for the users of Hinnau software, might ask why the amount is different, why the amount is not matching. First of all, we tell the user, okay, is this employee terminated or resigned? Number one. Number two, what is the setup? Now, setup for end of service, maybe on the basic salary. Maybe some company, they want to pay end of service on the total salary or basic salary plus accommodation. So this calculation is based on the setup. You need to know as a user, what is the setup for end of service? Now you might want to make end of service for one employee, but you cannot. Why? Because this employee is inactive. You have to make him active or maybe he's on leave. You have to make him return back from leave then you can continue the process. When you make an employee create end of service, there's a process. You can edit, you can void, you can approve. After you approve, you cannot change. Because we mentioned this one in other videos, that in now software, there's workflow. We cannot break the workflow. But if employee end of service, but we want to hire him or her again. There's one option in the system, tick box that rehire the employee. So all information we can correct it back, but as a new employee. In end of service, you can print design form, you can design and print the forms in end of service. You, you can ask the employee to sign. In end of service, it is reading if this employee has items not yet returned back, end of service is connected with fixed asset module. If I give mobile or laptop to employee, if it connected, so this item must be returned. Maybe connected with the real estate module. So you cannot continue finishing the process of end of service until he has to return back the flat or there is an action to be taken. So when the, our customer asking, why I cannot do this one? Why I cannot continue? Because there is setup. There is a process. You have to continue working on the process. So in end of service, payment of end of service, you might again employees say, okay, I want to pay end of service. I want to accounting menu. Then I select it employee system is not allowed to select. Why? Because you should go to HRMS activities menu. From there, pay to employee. Because we want to change the status of the employee, to change the status of end of service that it is paid. 
customer might ask user, why this? This is complicated. It's not complicated. It is process. It is way to flow. That is why in some, we, we used to hear that some employees in the service, he received money two times or three times or four times, or his money is still running. When we made end of service and approve, no more amount to go to salary. By default in the system, controls, we protect the users from mistakes. So this one, end of service, if you want to pay, you have to pay through the menu of HRMS menu, then pay to employee, select the employee from there, the status of end of service will be changed to be paid. Same way for annual leave, status is paid. So every user, they have to follow the workflow. Otherwise, otherwise the result is not correct. You will see the employee, maybe he left 10 years ago, but still the status not yet paid. But actually it is paid. Leave without pay. Uh, I mean, annual leave, it should be paid from there. And so on. We already speak about annual leave. The questions arise, why running Hanau software? These are part of the answer of these questions in these videos. Please visit us in YouTube. We have more than 100 videos in YouTube. Like our uh, page in Facebook, Hanau software. Contact us at any time. Thank you very much.